What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off up and last time, uh, we've been fighting lots of battles against British rebel armies here in England and now we are, we are going to assault uh, the Scottish capital of Edinburgh and this is the last British territory um, in the British Isles. It's not the last British territory on the map, but we take what we can get and the armies. The army that's in here is pretty depleted anyway from earlier battles, so let's attack. They do have... But part of me is kind of hoping peace with Britain. That would be my goal. I can make peace with Britain, capture Copenhagen, and then potentially just bottle up uh, any Royal Navy ship through their city or into the Baltic, and then I can bottle them up in the Baltic seas, hopefully. Well, I was previously decrying the fact I don't have uh, more howitzers than this, but really, in retrospect, it's not going to be needed because their uh, their armies are so their garrison is very depleted. So, can all you guys? Yep, you can all hide in the trees. So then we have our our division to hold the breaches plus cavalry. So our carcass shotting howitzer focus on um, some of these elite infantry units on the walls. The field artillery focus on making a hole in the breach. Highlander Independent Regiment, which is, wait, where are you? There you are. They look pretty good. They're an additional units mod unit which I think is pretty cool. The blunderbuss shotgunners, there's one guy left. So this is all their cavalry in the centre with their pikemen. So I'm going to speed up time because right now we are just engaging them with artillery. Killed a few more men. But yeah, once we've got our breach sorted, then we will attack. Makes me wonder, these foot guards actually meaning to Sally. I'm going to engage them with my howitzer then. No, oh, they're putting in spikes. That's not a bad position, really. Let's make a hole. 90%. One more barrage should do it. Boom. Bunch of men killed up on the rampart. So now my artillery engage this bastion here. While this line pushes up. And then these men push up some friendly fires to be expected because they're firing their cannons at close range although actually it looks like they're not uh... let's get them to keep dropping dropping shells on the breach try kill units like this that really handily stand in the perfect position to massacre. So I'm going to want to put a colonial line unit here. To block off any attempt to Block off any attempt to charge us with cavalry. Front line move up. 
so we're just bombarding the hell out of it. I would like my skirmishers to get up into range so they can start picking men off inside the breach. Some fusiliers here putting down spikes. If they actually do, that's not a bad spot, really. Although it looks like they're just a bit bugged. Okay, where's my cavalry? You guys square off against the guards. Regiment in the 18th. So, even though these are guards, infantry, we can put up more firepower. They don't have fire by rank. Although, actually, you, to be honest, look like you need to uh, form up here. I get one more howitzer to volley into them. I oh, know they're busy. Get the cavalry into them. He's coming. Send you guys to chase down the 48th. These men can't charge out because we've captured this gatehouse. You get up there, pull these two men back. Hit him. Yeah, some of them they are going to hit some of our dudes. But we're doing well getting man up on the wall. And sadly, we've all, things have already started to go wrong. Because the gate's open, these guys want to run in through the gate. Which I don't really want them to do, but I can't stop them. Guys are all clustered around one rope. These guys I want to line the parapets to shoot at the Swiss pikes because I don't want to charge down into them. Let's look at these guys for whatever reason. So that you know what, the best thing to do is not to run up here and kill them, just run up here. Go to Hussars. Oh, 
It's not going to be long till we've taken the gatehouse. Finally, these guys have managed to position themselves in the right fire step. There we go, we've captured the gatehouse. Get men off the walls. Curassiers stand their ground. Colonial line attempt to push through. Dragoons, feed more colonial line in. Fortunately, the pikemen are leaving us alone. Okay, now engage. those men over to the front. There we go, we're going to surround these pikemen. So they are winning, they are very good in the melee, obviously, but uh, yeah, these men are now surrounded, so don't worry about that. Get these guys into the centre, form square. Get the colonial line involved. Get everyone else involved. Yeah, the pikes are putting up a fight of it. That's why we want our grenadiers involved. Actually, you guys charge the back of the breach. Stuff. Could get these collect cavalry in, but there's not really a need. Let's kill that last Brunswicker Dragoon. <laughs> They're now responding to the threat in the centre. Kill this last. Granted, he's a veteran pikeman. But in two seconds, it won't matter. One jot. These Scottish Highlanders that have come back. Does not matter. The city is ours. And all you men are my prisoners. So let's see if we can use Britain. So diplomacy, major nations, Britain. 
There we go. Peace is signed. Um, because they can't, uh, they can't fight everyone. So let's get one of my fifths over to Newcastle. Let's get one of my fifths. Well, I can't get them into here because this fleet's in the way. I mean, obviously they still hate us, so we're still going to have a rebellion problem. At least for the short, in the short term, but not right now. Uh, we can't repair anything because we have no money. So there is a good case, I think, for attacking Copenhagen, fortifying it, and then basing a fleet out of one of these ports. I think, anyway. Let's hop over to here. Yeah, you guys are part of my disbandment experiment, which you can see doesn't work. You chaps can march up now. Because you don't need the garrison here to the Iroquois territory. Uh, let's take you. Embark them aboard ship. Although, who did I leave behind? Is that a militia unit? No. Okay. Anything more? Ready and awaiting order. New guys embark. Sell them on to India. Yes. Can we repair anything for 11 bucks? Nope. We need 700. But let's put Alphonse Barrett up to. up into another force to then send out into the world. One more turn to interchangeable parts, which is great. And let's hit end turn. And let's see what Britain does. Now they are not at war with us. I'm hoping they uh, they retreat into the Baltic. France, because they were looking for trade. Even though we said no, I expected them to do something. Yeah, I really need to build up my my fleets in Europe. And then some send some fleets along to raid against or to raid Spanish ports would be a good idea. I think because they do have lots of men, it wouldn't be impossible for them to send ships out to uh, invade our territory. There we go, interchangeable parts. Now we're really cooking. Holy hell, ninety odd grand from stopping them oh it's because the austrians are no longer being blockaded their trade value is forty-eight thousand. shows the value of uh long trade relationships there okay hartford you could probably get on with something else rather than steam engines because that's a bit too much for you i think new spain has a craft workshop it's built okay well it's gone a bit of a Economic upgrading frenzy. Let's go up to here to build the craft workshop. We want to upgrade all our military buildings here in order to provide um, as much as much support as possible when we finally invade. Lots of upgrades in Ceylon. Roads as well I've got to do in Ceylon. Upgrade, upgrade. You pick up a sloop. Williamsburg here. You pick up a sloop. Upgrade the cotton warehouse. Upgrade Florida's government building. Okay, good stuff. Let's hop back up over to Edinburgh and let's repair these buildings. Let's make sure we are fully replenishing our men. Your Majesty. Make sure you are being fully replenished. We expect there's resistance to foreign occupation. Sir. Your orders. Let's put you guys in Oxford and for now. Forward. And then let's get 
Two Grenadier Guards. I might get some mercenaries actually. For now, because you never use mercenaries. Yeah, so they're rioting, which is to be expected. We could exempt them from tax. But it won't make any immediate difference in the short term. Let's upgrade this weaver's cottage and let's hop back over to here. So let's get that fifth rate and move it over to here for now. Let's take these third rates over to Portsmouth where they can be the core of my first Royal Navy fleet. There we go. Bunch of heavyweight ships of the line. 98 grand. Jesus. Just going to show how much, how much stuff we're exporting. Um, hop over to the Americas. Crew sloop. Curacao. Uh, yes, you fellas. Repair as much as you can, but I need to send you out again into the world. And I also need to build capacity there. Oh, St. Lawrence, an elephant. Let's bring you guys out of there and get you up to Boston. We can amalgamate you into another fleet. Good stuff. Um, okay. I haven't repaired the naval hospital yet. Really, that's just demonstrating I don't necessarily need... Every two turns I can recruit four ships from here, which is quite a lot. I don't think I'm going to need that level of production yet. Okay, let's hit in turn. Those guys have transferred some ships. And the Austrians have come back into French territory. Bold of them. It's not gone well. Yeah, they're pushing towards three armies here in Britain. I'm recruiting a fourth. I'd probably into India. And then any troops that fight in Europe against Sweden, for example, need to be recruited from within the theatre. But I want to have two armies ready near... Um, in the Indian theatre before I advance on to Bengal. And then, yeah, we'll start to uh, secure the riches of India and we'll start pecking at some enemies here in Europe. Start to take some isolated terror on Sweden. We've got a rake. Let's take the rake, get him aboard the port at the ship at Greenwich, deposit him off of the coast, where he can infiltrate or attempt to infiltrate Paris. New towns, El Paso in New Mexico, become a craft workshop. Good stuff. Okay, this navy, the fifth rate, you amalgamate into Belfast. You guys also become a trade port. Fleet arrives. So let's send this heavyweight fleet up to... Bengal, just to see what we're dealing with. You could probably get within range. Yeah, you can. So they've got a stack inside the city. Some troops reinforcing it. Some Ada Ayadi. They look pretty good. Okay, so you blockade Calcutta to prevent the navy from breaking out. You guys move in. So which, if I split you guys up, 
Good, so you can sail up and deposit the army off the coast of Calcutta. You can sail into Colombo. Pick up this second force and deposit them not quite within range. So what ships have they got here? Okay, let's split this fleet up. Blockade the naval hospital. Yeah, there they go. This is the thing with India is they can put they can quickly bring a lot of troops to bear. So I need you to deposit your ships. Your you to deposit your men off the coast. Recruit some fifths to harry the enemy. Probably preemptively start recruiting some reinforcing men. Public servant dies. One of our ministers has died. Ooh. Laurentian de Neufil. Plus one management, plus one justice. Plus one management, plus one management, plus one treasury. Okay, you are a great replacement for that guy. Haridan. Plus one management, minus one happiness for everyone. No, you're not good enough to replace him. Honest, plus one management, you replace Europe. The Europe minister. Crewman report. Lots of stuff in England. Has been another rebellion. There we go. Let's pick a unit of engineers. Your Majesty. You should have finished replenishing, but you have not. But let's go check out other stuff. Okay, let's go pick up some more third rates. So that's an entire new navy being built. Let's move one fifth rate out of the way. Now you need one more unit of men. Then when you've recruited, these guys can ship over to India, keep the military upgrades going, get the roads built. We are going to chase down Rufus. Soon, England will like us. Soon. They're unhappy because they're rebelling at the moment. So let's take you and engage Rufus Harrison. So that should make them make them settle down quite a lot. And then I'd like to have one army here. Perpetual invasions. Not great territory for dropping artillery down. But let's just drop them back here. All in a nice long line. Because they are a force with no organic artillery themselves. So we haven't got to worry about being... We haven't got to worry about being uh, outgunned. Split into two. Two increased, increased brigades of five. Cavalry on each flank. Okay, so this brigade push their flank. You men engage. Good God. We're piling on the quick the, the artillery here. Okay. Push up our cavalry, including our general. Okay, these guys need to probably run. Who's that at the back? Just a unit of militia. 
they're engaging us with musket fire. Soon we'll be within range, and it's not going to really matter a huge amount. Bayonet charge. Poor souls. Excellent hit with the carcass shot. And the infantry guards are broken. Swiss so pikemen are wavering. Broken. Perfect. Let's pick two units of guns to engage this unit of line infantry on the hill. Get one unit of quick line to start engaging this unit of marines. One unit to start hitting this unit of line infantry. One unit to start hitting a unit of Swiss grenadiers that are almost dead. Let's push these men up to threaten the militia to try and make them get out of their the, the safety net of their uh, hilltop position. Charge the line infantry guards because they're currently pretty isolated. Push up the line. Tag him with, try to tag some of their guardsmen with my infantry while I extricate my cavalry to chase down routing units. There we go. You engage the Swiss pikes. These guys are, these guys are done. So just. Do something like that, I guess. Hold the artillery. Good stuff. Hold fire with those guys. It's not everyone, there's a militia unit. goes charge the marines because they're pretty good but again once they're surrounded they die just the same as any other infantry all of my carcass shotting men hit those guys uh maybe hit the swiss grenadiers first Do you think because their general's dead, the marines are surrounded? They'll do good, but damn, they'll pay the price. Yeah, there goes the militia. Damn right, continue. These are treacherous rebels. Halt the artillery fire, though. Kill the line infantry, probably chase down those marines instead. Come on, kill the Swiss line. Go, go chase down that militia, I suppose. You guys kill the Swiss Grenadiers. Good stuff. Let's 
suppose because they're rebels, they don't get a, you know, fifth regiment of blank. I mean, look at this guy. He's doing pretty well, surviving. Okay, you're in range. Okay, pretty sure these militia units are going to successfully rout. My general might catch up to this unit and get some kills, which is fine. Uh, would like to have maybe done a bit more damage, but you know, you can only you, you know, you can only take the opportunities that you get. Decisive victory. Good. Oh, that's my alarm going off. There we go. So they've been Forward. killed. Watch. Chase them down. Kenneth Wedgwood. Destroy their last army. Replenish. Yeah, they'll hate us a bit more, but they're more than welcome to. I've done all this stuff. I've done the rebellion. Traits gained. Ancillary gains. This guy, you're becoming pretty beast. But yeah, I think I would like to take Copenhagen. So you need to get well yeah, as I get more rakes I want to get them over into Europe. Really I wanna get this fella. Both of them. Go join that guy. And he can bring over some reinforcements. God core, that's what I wanna see. Uh, militia unit uh, is not needed. Well not needed yet. Okay, let's get all my rakes down here. Your Majesty. So let's get some... I've got another rake in England, which is good. Let's pick up some of you. Two Marines. Some European infantry. Let's buy another unit of skirmishes. Yeah, you've all been sorted out. Hopefully these guys don't die by being intercepted. Make ready. We might get attacked on the beach by leading garrison. They do have a 64 pounder great gun, which should be fun. El Paso's been built. Right, let's hit N10. Let's see what happens, because we are now over <laughs> over the uh, my over the part time. But I just want to see what happens. Really, I should keep building ships in the Americas as well. I shouldn't have let that 60 grand sit in my bank account doing nothing. I should really have... Uh... Ooh, okay... That's the kind of reason why I need my navies. <laughs> Let's keep our... I've got to remember, I do have two ports in the Americas that are capable of building big fleets. That's the thing I need to remember. Hey, we're being attacked and we're on the defensive. But I think probably going to be okay. They've got lots of cavalry, but all of our men can do advanced drills. We've got lots of artillery to knock them out. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.